There are people, frankly, in both parties who have suggested that this investigation is about you. This investigation is about four people who were killed representing our country on foreign soil. After your plan, things in Libya today are a disaster. That's not a view that uh, I will ascribe to. Americans can live with the fact that good people sometimes give their lives for this country. What they can't live with is when their government's not square with them. That Republicans are squandering millions of taxpayer dollars on this abusive effort to derail Secretary Clinton's presidential campaign. If those previous investigations were serious and thorough, how did they miss Secretary Clinton's emails? I've thought more about what happened than all of you put together. I've lost more sleep than all of you put together. Is any of this getting the American people closer to the truth of the Benghazi tragedy. With us now on a Fox Business exclusive, we've got Congressman John Garamendi, Democrat from California, who was Deputy Secretary of the Interior under President Clinton, and Congressman Lee Zeldin, Republican of New York, also a major in the U.S. Army Reserve, sits on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. And gentlemen, I apologize in advance if we have to interrupt the conversation if something else is happening. But right off the bat, uh, this is not a reality show about who gets kicked off the island. This is is supposedly about four deaths of Americans that might have been prevented. And do you feel, and I'll start with you, Representative Garamendi, because you worked for Hillary Clinton's husband, do you feel that she's standing up and answering those questions appropriately at this point? Well, everything I've heard, everything I've seen, the answer is a categorical yes. And this is not her first appearance before a congressional hearing. She did this uh, almost three years ago and fully explained everything she knew about it. Uh, this really isn't going anywhere, as you've already alluded to, because there's nowhere for it to go. We've been over this seven times at various congressional hearings, House and Senate, and here we are once again going back over the information. The rest of the story is there was a significant upgrade, obviously insufficient, but nonetheless a significant upgrade in the uh, protection of the Benghazi compound. Not adequate given the attack that occurred. A great tragedy. The fellow actually lived in my district in Cal was from my district in California. We felt this thing very, very personally. Of course, of course. But here we are all these years later and what are we getting out of this? Well, it is actually theater. Well, uh, you know, Representative Zeldin, you having been in the 82nd Airborne, you are a, a military guy who knows the, the dangers of all of this. And it does appear that there were a lot of red flags about security and we need more, et cetera. But the dangers of Libya are front and center in everybody's faces over the past three decades. Uh, so I, I begin to, to ask the question, what is happening today? At one point, Trey Gowdy, who was head of the select committee, um, was speaking and questioning Secretary Clinton about something that looked to a lot of Americans like a completely tangential issue, a former aide. Sidney Blumenthal, and let's listen to a little bit of that and Hillary Clinton's response, which may have hit at the gut of what a lot of people who are watching might have thought. Listen first and then you can react. He had unfettered access to you. And he used that access, at least on one occasion, to ask you to intervene on behalf of a business venture. Do you recall that? You know, Mr. Chairman, if you don't have any friends who say unkind things privately, I congratulate you, um, but from my perspective, I'd like to uh, think I don't, correct them. I don't, I don't, I don't know what this line of questioning does to help us get to the bottom of the deaths of four Americans. I'll be happy help to help us. Tell, I'll be happy better. to help you understand but, that, Madam Secretary. But, okay, but then the discussion about Sidney Blumenthal, who most Americans don't know or care about, uh, continued. Representative Zeldin, if you were there, what would you be doing at this point? You talking about at the hearing? Correct. I mean, it, it, people are yeah. wondering so, why they're going off on tangents. So, it, uh, you know, part of the Chairman Gowdy's point as he continued his questioning, which continued after a brief lunch break, uh, is that Secretary uh, Clinton was talking about the processes were in place where when there was uh, an increase in a request for security help, uh, there, for whatever reason, it wasn't getting into her inbox. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't being raised directly to the secretary. So the secretary was receiving a whole lot of other traffic on advice with regards to Libya, 
Uh, the Sydney Blumenthal piece is very critical to that because uh, of the nature of the interaction uh, with regards to Mr. Blumenthal and some others regarding Libya. But the security concerns weren't get, getting directly to the secretary. So, you know, as far as having the right process in place in the future to prevent this from happening again, it's important that we learn from lessons in the past. And obviously, there wasn't the right process because Secretary Clinton was not being notified. Uh, at, at least that's her testimony. Uh, of these important rising security concerns leading up to the attack. Testimony or excuse, Congressman Garamendi, that, that bureaucracy got it all tangled up, but she was somehow getting this guy, the Sidney Blumenthal, who's a former journalist and, and trying to feed her information about Libya. She was getting his messages. That probably doesn't sit well with a lot of Americans right now. Well, I think you really are off on a tangent here. Uh, listen, I'm an elected official. I've been involved in uh, political life for a long, long time. I get emails and messages every day from people that are tangential talking about any number of things that ought to be done here in Washington. But let's get down to the heart of the issue here. There were numerous requests for increased security in not only Benghazi, but in, Lib in Libya. Many of those things were actually put in place, including an additional, or not an additional, but five-person security detail for the ambassador. That was put in place, along with razor wire and other kinds of improvements to the Benghazi uh, compound before it was attacked. As I said earlier, it proved to be insufficient because of the size and the, the uh, terror of the attack. Now, going forward, every one of the recommendations that were made by the uh, review committee that the secretary put in place, and these were people that had nothing to do with her. In fact, they came out of Republican administrations as well as former Democratic mm -hmm. administrations to look at this. And those recommendations were put in place, not just in Benghazi, not well, Benghazi was gone, but not just in Libya, but around the world. This is our task to understand what happened. Okay, but five Unfortunately, hours Unfortunately, this in, is not getting on. anywhere. But uh, let me just finish this. Our task is to make sure that all of the resources available and any of the laws that would make those resources less pertinent and less useful, that we straighten that out. Unfortunately, this hearing is not even getting close to that. Okay.